Hello, it's Ben from VelaViewer here. Uh, I'm going to show you the new activity screen that's going to be coming in the version 3 of VelaViewer. Uh, so, as you can see, we've got a bunch of new columns here that the new Strava APIs are, are providing for us. Uh, the most interesting one is that we now have not just rides, but we have every other activity type that, that you have uploaded. So, runs and skiing or whatever else it is that you've put in here. So, that's uh, going to make this much more powerful than it already is. Um, so when it happened, name, uh, distance, elevation, all this, the normal stuff there. Uh, the cadence at the moment isn't coming through, uh, but we do have heart rate now. I've only just recently got the heart rate monitor going, uh, so I've, uh, uh, although I'm not quite sure, 230 beats per minute is really realistic, but um, uh, so yeah, we have the heart rate data coming through now, and that's available in the streams as well for when we look at the ride details page later on. Um, calorie and energy. Um, calculating how many personal records are on each ride and how many segments you've done. You've then got whether it's a commute, a, tra a trainer, or manually uploaded, and also whether it's private or not. Um, and I'm also now calculating how far away the ride was from um, from from where you are currently, so it, it looks for your current location. Uh, if we just scroll down here, um, so the way this is working now is that it gets all the data down in one go. So when I hit the next button here, it's not uh, it's, it's it's instant in terms of the display for, as you as you're going through all the rows. Um, default to 20 per page there, but I'll just change that so there's 10 just so it's a little bit easier to see on the screen resolution so you can see it's very quick uh, similarly with the um, the ordering it's it's instantaneous again so you're not having to uh, to go back to the server to go and get more data for you um, so that's fairly normal we got the extra fields but that's the same kind of functionality as we had before so what I've been uh, adding in here is uh, filters so there are every single one of the fields that you're looking at you can filter against um, so if you just want to see the runs you just untick your rides see that would then you'd have as many activity types as you as you have data for so now we're just seeing my two runs I obviously need to go out and do a bit more running as well um, so that's a very easy way just to, to flip between all of those um, and I then provide charts for uh, for the filters which are going over range be that on dates or be it on a numeric like distance or altitude or whatever it might be um, and the way these work is you then use the mouse just to click and and select the portion that you're interested in um, this also works on touch devices like iPads as well so and you can see as I'm scrolling that around the data in the list below here is changing um, to just to show roads from uh, the activities from those dates, but you'll also notice that in the distance chart here, um, previously it was all red showing that that's all the data you're seeing, but it's filtering the uh, it shows how much data there is in the second the second filter there as well, and um, it's using something called cross filtering. So I can then I've I've picked a bunch of data from the by date, but then I can also say okay I also just want the ones where I've done the more distance so now I'm filtering over the date and also by the distance as well and then of course I can just say I'm just going to get my rides and then you've um, so you can you can cross filter on, on any number of columns so there's this whole list here so if I add um, say elevation gain into here then you can see that appears in the same way and you can see the uh, the little red bar showing uh, which ones uh, there is data for just clicking back onto these and it provides you all the uh, all, all of the data there so I, essentially I could be searching on ele elevation gain so I just want to know the ones where I did the most elevation and and there we go I, I, I get all of those ones um, so what we also can do is uh, is I've added a map option on here so what this is showing is uh, it's a bit like like a, a heat map of um, of all the activities that you've done, and um, and if we zoom in on here, you get to see it a little bit clearer. So 
there's all the activities I have around Sheffield. As you move the mouse around over them, they all highlight. And also, if they, uh, if you highlight one which is also in the in the list like that one, then it highlights the corresponding row in the table there. If and also, if you move the mouse over the rows in the table, it highlights the uh, the appropriate ride on the map. Um, you got the option just to change the opacity on those colours there to make them brighter or not. So it's whether it's a more of a, a heat map or whether it's um it's just showing where everything is. Um, and I have this auto zoom function on here, so if I just want to know all the uh, the rides I did at a certain date, I can just pick that and it'll automatically zoom and select and show those rides that happened at between those dates. Which is quite a neat way to, to show all that all very fast. Um, obviously the cross filtering works as well so you can fine tune it to come down to the to the fewer to so whichever whichever data you like. Um, what you can also do is filter on the the area as well so if you turn the filtering on on the map I'll just clear one of these down just to give us a bit more room and why has that Okay, so if we now zoom in onto a particular area like this in North Wales, you'll see that it's filtered this the, uh, the the list of activities here to just the ones that happened in that particular area. If I go up here to Lancashire and and, um, and North Yorkshire, you can see the ones around there which I've which I've done. Um, or we can obviously go back down towards Sheffield where most of my rides are and, and then you get to see all those. Um, you can of course then filter those by the any of these things as well. Uh, and then just turn off the, the map filter just to go back to everything. We've also got filtering on the the names as well. So you can so you can type in here something like the squadra for, for my bike club so then we're only going to see all the uh, the rides which I've done with with that particular um, that has that text in the title maybe go for peak and then you, you'll just see the ones that have got peak or PEA in the title there um, so yeah you can uh, filter on any, anything you want within there um, you can also filter on the um, things like commute as well so if we just add commute in there, you can say I'd only want to see my commutes, which I've only got two of. Um, so that's that kind of shows all the different um, types of filtering that we have here with the the map filtering and the um, uh, these range type filters as well as the text and and the checkbox filters. Um, of course, you've got all the uh, options to have different map types like OS maps and for if you're in the UK and and the cycle maps um, so all, all of that normal stuff's in there as well uh, and you can once again overlay with photos as well if you which I always quite like um, so yeah that's uh, that's what's ha happening so far so imagine having a, a similar type of functionality for your segment list as well and um, then I'll be uh, going going back and looking at the activity details page as well. It's going to be interesting dealing with all the different activity types for that, with um, with runs and swims and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's like all exciting stuff. I hope you see some stuff there which which you'll like, and um, and uh, you should should be going live sometime beginning of May. But uh, some people might get a chance to have a go at it before then. Okay, cheers. easily just type in here um, something like